ratio is a way of comparing numbers. So it's often used in real life. For example, in a group of children, you might say that there are two boys for every three girls. And we could write that like this. Two boys, and the colon means for every. Two boys for every three girls. Now, that would mean if we had four boys, that's twice as many boys, we would also have twice as many girls. So four boys for every six girls. It's a bit like equivalent fractions. So what you do to one side, you also have to do to the other side. So this side, we've multiplied by two. So we have to do the same to the other side. We've also multiplied it by two. So if we take another amount, and let's say um, we had eight boys, and that would mean eight boys for every, so two, this time we've multiplied it by four. Two multiplied by four is eight. So we have to do the same to the other side. Three multiplied by four. would be 12. So we could say there are 8 boys for every 12 girls. All these ratios are equivalent because we've multiplied them by the same thing on each side. So we've changed them proportionately. So first we multiplied them by 2. We doubled them both. 2 boys for every 3 girls is the same as four boys for every six girls. We've doubled them both. Next, we multiplied the original ratio by four. So eight boys for every 12 girls. We know it's the same because we've multiplied both the original ratio numbers by four. OK, let's think about apples and oranges. So let's imagine that in a bag we have three apples for every four oranges. Okay. So if you had three apples, you would have four oranges. But if you had six apples, you would have, of course, it's twice as many apples, so it will also be twice as many oranges. Six apples for every eight oranges. If you had 15 apples, what have we multiplied the 3 by to get to 15? Yeah, that's right, we've multiplied it by 5. So what does that mean we have to do to the 4? Yeah, that's right, we have to multiply it by 5. So we could say 15 apples for every 4 times 5 is 20, 20 oranges. And I've missed the colon, which means for every. Oops. And you can apply it to almost any situation where you're comparing um, two, well, it could be more, but we're dealing with two at the moment, two, the relationship between two amounts. And we could say um, that you have four pens for every um, what should we say let's say three pencils four pens for every three pencils okay so I'm gonna have a much larger amount now I'm gonna say okay we've got 80 pens So if we had 80 pens, how many pencils would we have? Four pens for every three pencils. So 80 pens, that's 
How many times more pens is that? That's right, it's 20 times more. So, of course, we're going to have the same times amount more pencils. So, we're going to have 20 times more pencils as well. 3 times 20 is 60. So, that's the same ratio 4 for every 3, 80 for every 60.